we're going to be taking a look at the YouTube video manager and its ability to do what we call power searching now. You're going to want to watch near the end for the bonus tips. In the past, we were able to sort through all of our uploads. Right now, I've got 202 uploads in my YouTube channel. You could sort them by looking at the public ones or all the unlisted ones or all the private ones. That was something you could do before. And you could search for some basic stuff about it, but now we've got the ability to do what I call power searching. You can use certain parameters or switches to help you. And one of the more popular ones you might try is title. So we could search for the title, T-I-T-L-E, colon. You can do a space or no space. It doesn't, doesn't seem to matter. I'm going to do a search for a title, colon, hangout, because I've made some videos about hangout, hangout on air. I'm going to click search, and what we've ended up with here, I'll scroll up for a sec. You can see we've got five uploads that meet this parameter of the title having the word Hangout in it. Now, even though you can't see it up here, if I mouse over the title, it pops up, and it says this one is How Events Can Alert the Public About Your Hangout on Air. So there are five of them that match that word Hangout somewhere in the title. Um, and it and it's a mix. It's public videos. It's uh, unlisted videos. So it's whatever's in your channel that happens to have the title that matches that. It's very sensitive for plurals. For example, if I change that to Hangouts and hit Search, uh, now at this point you can see we only have one. So there's only one video in my channel that currently matches the title parameter of the word Hangouts with an S. So if you're not finding exactly what you want, you might want to get rid of the S or add an S to get exactly what you're looking for. So, okay, sometimes we're going to want to search for a title that has more than one word, and we're going to match more than one. So I'm going to type in event, because event, or events, let's do events. Events are popular nowadays inside Google+, and I use them to, to try to announce my Hangout, or Hangouts, so I'm going to click for videos I've done that talk about the word events and Hangout in the title. And so you can see here, even though Hangout is sort of hidden at first, it's still part of it. And another thing to notice, the order of the word. I typed in Hangout first and then events, but it found a title that the word events was first and Hangout was second. So it, it's, uh, it doesn't seem to matter what order the words are in. You just separate them with a space, and you should be good to go. Just realize the S is going to matter. If I got rid of the S there for Hangout Event, um, we got one that matches that. And if I said I wanted to look for Hangouts, plural, and Event, we get none. So there's the result of when you got it all wrong and it's not finding anything there. So let's get rid of the S, add the S back here. and actually keeps track of some of the ones you've been doing. So that's kind of neat. You can come back and get back to your search results again. So that's adding a couple words using title. Um, let's look for another parameter. Uh, one that you might use is description. So I'm going to do description colon. And uh, let's look for the description one which just says event. Let's see what we get there. We get one. So let's change it to events, plural. And we get six. And it tells you right up here, in case you're not noticing, and right where it says Uploads, it tells you how many match that result. Now, amongst those six, if you'll note here, this third one down is, he's got that little picture of the sort of the lock unlocked, which is called Unlisted. So if my goal was to try to find the ones that are all public and with the word events in the description text somewhere, you know, anywhere in it, I can do a multiple switch search. So what you do that with is by hitting the space bar and then you type in the next parameter which is the word is and I'm going to put in the word public and then search for that and what it's doing is it's found it got rid of basically the unlisted one and it's just showing us the events in the word the word events in the description somewhere and the video is public. And we could add in the word title. We just do another space and add it in. And you can go on and on. You get the idea of all the different things that it will do to help you find the stuff you're looking for inside YouTube. So what we just covered there was using the video manager and power searching techniques for YouTube. Um, I post about all kinds of YouTube tips, tricks, and video SEO techniques, as well as Google Plus tips and tricks, Hangouts, Hangouts on Air tips, right there on Google+. So go ahead and add me to your circles, Ronnie Bincer, 
and also check in with me. I may be able to help you get more traffic to your website using video. Now, since you waited till the end, let's give you those bonuses. These are the special parameters you can use when you do your power searching.